I've still got the bomb hat on. Connect Ohio, everyone. How you doing today? It is me. Still is here and being a boop. Me. Mm. We're gonna play the Yu Gi Oh's. And by play the Yu Gi Oh's, I mean scream at RNG. And by scream at RNG, no, that's exactly what I meant. But it got redeemed earlier on the previous stream. So you know what? We're going to just um, go with the uh, curse playlist. You are the curse playlist. Mm. The Castlevania DLC came out for uh, Dead by Daylight. Uh, okay. And apparently Alucard's one of the survivors. Why? Uh, I don't they know. Don't it. That just does not make sense. You put Alucard as a survivor. You know, the guy who probably doesn't even need a weapon. Okay, um, what was the... What did I name the YAML? Or the name in the YAML? Yu-Gi-Oh! FM. Came up with the name Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, the, the, like I, in Japanese, I do believe it like actually means like King of Games. Oh, okay. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go through Free Duel. That's right. Oh, also, we're going to be muting this because we're going to be playing on two times speed. Or higher than two times speed. A subflora has appeared. You'll keep the zombies away. Okay, so now we have three new opponents, Bandit Keith, Shadi, and Yami Bakura. Also, apparently Shadi is absolutely worthless for this, as he has one card we're missing from him. Oh, lovely. I wonder if it's a card can get for anyone else. I don't know. 
so far, or at least not, but uh, let's see. Um, do they have any exclusive from SA Power? Okay, no, it doesn't look like he does. Let's go beat up Bandit Keith. I don't understand a word that you're saying. I speak in American. It's the only language I understand. That wasn't from the actual anime, was it? No, that was from Abridged. Thank God. I was really hoping that would make Dark Elf. Um, whatever. Oh, I was going to say to this to you earlier. Um, so we were talking about that um, Capcom Evolution game. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to know which games they chose to have the game have it represented? What? Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter 3, Darkstalkers, and Red Earth. So three of the games were Street Fighters. And that's also the exact opposite of surprising. Considering not caring about anything that isn't Street Fighter is very on brand for Capcom. Reaper, Back then it was, yeah. And now it's uh, anything that isn't um, Monster Hunter or Street Fighter. I mean, can you blame him with Monster Hunter? It's one of their best selling games. Angie Panda. Wait, I didn't see what that was. Clown zombie. That's not on our list of things we care about, so we keep resetting. Hey, no, don't beat up my panda. <laughs> Uh, or is that just uh, an old thing? Yeah, that's an old thing. That's also um, not scrolled all the way down. Also, that explains why we've played three Storm Eagle songs in a row. We weren't randomized. <laughs> Page has been sent to ukulele.
Okay, that does not seem to change things. Stop playing garbage that can't hurt that I will kill you by attacking over. That was wrong button in several ways. Okay, um, yeah, whatever. We do not need clown zombie. Do da, do da. Is this cheap? I don't know. You do that, eh? Bandit Keith, the machine duelist, with his deck full of fucking not machines, or his rewards full of not machines, and his deck full of not machines, and his rewards full of zombies. Why has he got small as a card? 
Just, yeah, I like that it is just bat. Nine percent, by the way. Nine percent chance to get a card I need from uh, each of these. Uh... Second, sorry. Uh, nine percent chance, by the way. Each of these attempts to uh, get one of the cards I need. Heading this game was a mistake. My deck is empty. Oh, whoop. That's not the card I thought that was going to make. Okay, that's...
And this will at least change the card he drops. Nope, and it's still not anything we need. This game was a mistake to add. There is no other, there are no two ways about this. This is me mostly asking because I cannot remember the answer. Is there an option of? Yes, there is an option of saying, you know what, fuck this game. And just releasing everything in it. However, that is the very last option. Yeah. Problem is with this game is just the rewards are just too RNG based. One hundred percent. And my nine percent chance is we have Definitely had a lot more than 12 rolls in this. What was the other Yu-Gi-Oh! game you put on the list? Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships 2006. I assume that's a much better game? Yes, I enjoy that very much more. something uh, yes okay i just wasn't sure because in your tone you sounded kind of like you were thinking you didn't want to oh be... i didn't i was thinking this is correct yes i just didn't want to interrupt your thought process um has there ever been a Yu-Gi-Oh game which is kind of like 
um, in the gameplay style of Pokemon? Like, where there's actually a story, or is it just always the, just the card fighting? There are ones that do actually have a story. Oh shit, he actually drew his uh, ace. Oh, good, and he's actually made a, another strong monster. Thankfully, I was prepared for just such an occasion. Oh, Jesus Christ. God on the left. What? <laughs> the lizard plant like thing. It looks like it's just going me. <laughs> when you get to your hand, you'll see. Oh what I yeah, mean. the like. <laughs> yeah, that, that lad. I assume that's just a flower and not a lizard with a flower around its head. Kinda, yeah. Just a lizard. Or just a flower, I mean. There we go. One of the cards we needed. Also, I do not know how it even functions in uh, this one. And that was Miner's Helmet to Crosscode. Okay, it's an equip card. It just changes it to a machine monster. Is that really it? I guess so. Wow, that's actually... That is a card of all time. It sure would be weird if he potentially had a different card that he drops that um, would make infinitely more sense uh, to be uh, that. The reason I phrase this this way is because uh, he, in fact, drops a card that is named Machine Conversion Factory. Does that do the exact same thing, basically? No, it does not. But it would make a lot more sense to turn a monster into a machine monster, wouldn't it? Yeah. been a Yu-Gi-Oh game where you put the card down and then like a little 3D person appears. Uh yeah there has. This one.
Oh, okay. You can see why, for the sake of brevity, I'm not doing that every time. No, that's absolutely fair. I just wondered because there was another, there was a Yu-Gi-Oh game I actually did play that was on the Xbox, like the original Xbox, and uh, I think the only time a, someone ever appeared was when you got Exodia. Yeah, that is a common time for them to do that. <laughs> did not mean to replace that mystical sand, but sure, whatever. That's what happens when you play on four times speed, I guess. Sometimes you scroll over too far. Man, if this were the actual card game, getting Cyberstein would be awesome. Do you have any parts of Exodia yet? Two. And apparently you um don't get them the rest of them through normal play. sounds ominous and no you either have to redeem the code and pay the ridiculous amount of starship cost for them or you have to have the pocket station which was a japanese exclusive peripheral oh i think i remember that bloody thing that's one of the cards we needed off of him Heart star hitting a Kirby song is playing. Okay, so according to this now, Bakura is our prime target. Thousand defense monster. Yes. Okay. I think I can make a three thousand one hundred attacker. <laughs> by Turtle from uh, Sonic 2. At least that's what it looked like. Lamau. There's one of the ones we need. Some stagnant blight and a chow coin. Oh, 
Oh, have you got two? Oh, it's because you defeated it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was first defeat of him. So it's looking like Bakura marks the point where this strategy isn't, quote-unquote, enough anymore. Yeah, well, actually it is, but it's becoming not enough. Your strategies are getting too old, man. You need just to come up with some new strats. Get some new material. them are completed unparalleled bowel movement yeah and we are uh <laughs> we sure are um 62 62 streams in yep <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we're taking, we're keeping that time wizard. Also, Taya. Mm. Are you missing a game off the list? What do you mean? So the grandmizer paste bin, right? The one hundred and one. Like in the first slot, you've got list of the games in the randomizer, the 101 game randomizer. Look we'll, we'll to see if Sudoku is on there. Sudoku is on there. Okay, uh, then I have no idea. And I'm just wondering because, like, the final game is on uh, 101. Okay. Is it not supposed to be? Hmm? The final game is 101, yes? Yeah, but as I'm saying, like, the first line has got the, you know, list of the games in the randomizer, and then it starts on line oh. 2. Oh! So it's on line 101. Um. Yeah. So I'm, like, I'm just wondering which game is missing. Well, still to that, I say, have fun. Thanks for volunteering. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, I kind of... I... Oh, good. He has multiple 3,000 defense walls. Also, you get to see me uh, marking down the uh, 
various shit to do to get them to working. That sentence happened. Oh, I found it. Which one is it? I found it. It's, um, oh, I don't know how to actually say it, so I will just post it in the chat. But that one is missing off your paste bin. Oh, okay. Thank you. And I, I didn't mean to really be like a jerk face by saying thank you for volunteering. <laughs> no, that's fine. I can't actually edit this, can I? It's I know, but I can. Do that. There we go. Thank you for pointing that out. I mean, no one pointed it out until this point, so, you know, I'm not entirely convinced uh, anyone was particularly troubled by this fact, but, you know, thank you for pointing it out. Sometimes me being a bit anal about some stuff does come in useful. <laughs> it does. You don't need that one anymore, right? Yeah. Okay, what we need is... Besides, it wouldn't be the first time I helped you with something to do with this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've not needed help with this consistently for a long time now. <laughs> Mentally or otherwise. What is that One card? There we go, there's another one we needed, and it's a green key to Heretic. Actually, let's just go do an important thing and just beat up Shoddy real quick. has 2100 defense. I didn't see that. I just assumed it was garbage.
There we go. We have the shoddy defeat now. Daddy. Welcome back. Thank you. Well, that's annoying. What's that? Oh, just that he um, uh, reduced the attack of my whole board. Uh, no. What? No. No. Oh. What? Shrek special pack coming to Power Watch Simulator. Lamau. Fuck off with that shit. So apparently there are going to be five maps. The Durlock, I have no idea what that is. That's Farquaad's castle town. Hansel's <laughs> honeymoon hideaway. Shrek's swamp. Fairy Godmother's potion factory. And the dragon's lair. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to do this on the PlayStation to get the trophies. Yep. What is what? There's a game called Retro Realms.
Never heard of it. Oh! Oh, this actually looks fun. Well, tell me more about it. So it looks like it's like a 2D platformer, but um, it's so far got, oh, Halloween and Ash vs. Evil Dead. And it looks like quite a nice looking, like, shooter platformer game. Hmm. A shooter platformer, are we talking Mega Man? Uh, hmm. Are we talking Contra? Are we talking 2 or 3D? Talking what, sorry? 2 or 3D. 2D. Um, so it How can I? I'm trying to think of a game that suits this. Okay, yeah, it looks 2D platformer, not Metroidvania, blasphemous. Wait, what? What was that last um, bit? Blasphemous. Ah. Or blasphemous, sorry. Blas blasphemous is a Metroidvania, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looked like the. Combat looks like it's sort of like um, blasphemous, but it's like um, Mega Man-ish style level design. You'd have to watch the trailers. I, okay, I'll link yeah. a few for later, like or during a break or something. Like you can have an opinion on it. I think it looks quite neat, and it might be a game I'll play. Okay, got another one of the cards we needed. What is... hang on. There's another Metroidvania collection coming out? Okay. Car Metroidvania. Castlevania, sorry. Oh. The, Do the Dominus collection. Oh, apparently... Oh, it just came out yesterday. What games are in the collection? Uh, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ecclesia? That is the Castlevania game, yes. And Haunted Castle. Huh. Okay. I know there's one Castlevania game that we won't be seeing a re uh, a re-release of for a while. Which one is that? I can't remember the name of it, but it was um, released for the Xbox 360 Arcade a very long time ago. It was like um, a multiplayer Castlevania game where you could choose any of like the characters from the past games and you had to like work together to like complete the stage and defeat the boss. I'll see if I can find the name of it. Mm -hmm. Harmony of Despair. Yes, it was called Harmony of Despair. Hmm.
By the way, I am inventing a uh, new rule for um, just uh, this game. What's that? Uh, that rule is uh, cards with a lower than 10 in 2048 uh, probability, I give negative fucks about. The very, very low drop rates. Yeah, 10 or less, I give negative fucks about it. Otherwise, you might be here all day just farming one dude. That is not so much a possibility as it is... It's not even an inevitability because it is an already happened ability. Yeah, I mean, you're already losing your shit when you were trying to face... Um, what's his name? There were several of them during that stream, but yes. Oh, which stream was that? I don't know, but it was like farming Rex and Weevil and my. Oh, God. Oh, God. I actually think I was here. I just don't remember what day it was. I just thought of something. If you get any comments on your YouTube videos, I wonder how many people who watched it all and they were like, would well, this dude shut up about Dark Souls? Mm, I do not get comments on my my YouTube videos. No. Also, self-deprivation. Also, my official stance, if uh, people have uh, an issue with um, my stance of uh, fuck the cards with a uh, 10 in uh, 10 in 2048 drop rate, uh, I don't care. And unless you come watch my YouTube channel, or you would be watching the YouTube channel. I mean, unless you're like hearing like Twitch and talking to me and being my friend. If you're just like a casual person who's like stumbled across this and you're not my friend, I I don't I'm, I don't have enough emotional energy to care. Basically, if your life is all about just complaining, complain somewhere else. But no, 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 complain here. Complain here in the comments, please. Complain in the comments. Yes, complain. Actually, yes. Complain here, type a million word essay, and it has to be about why this is the greatest game of all time. And uh, make sure that um, you inform all of your friends about your magnum opus work of, of your essay, and that uh, they should definitely come and also leave negative comments on my video, and uh, this is not something that will boost me in the algorithm at all. You're a silly bean. Sometimes. No, all the time. And it's a good thing. Hi, Barry. Oh, hello, Barry. I was looking for his message. Like, where is it? Oh, he just appeared for me. 
It's the sleepy cat. has occurred, presumably in Sky. Godcasts weren't out by the time this game came no. out, did it? The card game wasn't out by the time this came out. Yeah, that would make sense, because otherwise we'd see all these different effects. That is a lot of, uh... killing. Oh, Jesus. This 14 or were they actually in the 11 as well? 11, yeah. Oh wow, okay. I kind of don't, I, don't, I didn't realize just how much stuff was already used in 11 before it oh, yes. in 14. Many of the monster models are taken straight out of 11. The only one, well, <clears throat> yeah, that's true. The only one I really recognized, like when they came, when it came in, was um, one of the mon. I think actually you put it, pointed out one of the monsters on the moon. It's like um, yeah, the, the it, I don't even know what they're called here, but they were called thinkers in eleven. Yeah, they can't. They they basically look like someone tried to draw a spider with a three D pen. It's the best way I can explain how they look. I was literally just looking at Barry's message. I'm like, oh, is this in 14? There isn't a Kieran in 14. Actually, wait, there is, isn't there? Yes, the first. It's all of the horses. Yeah. dear. Massive bolts. Defense reducing ammunition. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, how many shields does he have? Three, apparently. And labyrinth walls as well. That sounds catastrophic.
I'm assuming okay. his face downs are all spellbinding circle. Uh, what does that do? Reduces the attack of all of my monsters by 500. Professor Anders Crab Dance and the 57 Raiders, welcome to our Welcome, Crab, but how are you doing today? With bananas, pranks, I hear and your sky fun. run Banana, was party a popper, thing. Bat. Welcome, Raiders, no, welcome. I... My name is Oneko Tayago. I half demon, half cat, all friend, occasional link shell member of Crab. And I'm taking a break from 11. At anonymous gifter, thank you for gifting a sub to you to beat up that poontang. That's a word I haven't heard in many years. I, I, I just don't... I'm working... I've been doing this randomizer so much lately, I just don't have the... I don't have time to do every event anymore. Congrats, Junior. Oh my gosh, just give me the fucking black pendant already. Wait a sec, did you just say you're not making proper time for yourself, Taya? I know, I said I'm, I don't have time to play 11. Stop giving me Curtain of the Dark Ones! You are almost out of cards, by the way. I am aware. In case you're wondering what Tiger is doing right now, he is trying to get a brand new card so that he can get a new item for another game. Yeah. Oh yes, I don't know if I... If... I'm, this is part of the randomizer, my 101 multi-game randomizer. It is exactly as horrible of an idea as it sounds, uh, before adding Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories and its card drop rates into the discussion. he played Yami. Once again, not one of the cards we need. Black Pendant. Give me Black Pendant. Come on. Come on, Bakura. Stop being a dick. You know, if I could, I would give you every single one of my points to allow you to skip this game. That would be nice, wouldn't it? How many times have we beat 
wait, hold on a second. I've got a, I've got a new rule. Once I beat an NPC ten times, I get to be done with that NPC. All, all in favor of this rule? Who is here in voice chat with me right now? I only have one question. By ten times, do you mean you go back to the selection screen, or you've beaten him ten times, as in like you've had to reload? Uh, go back to the selection screen. I'm okay with this rule. If it spares your sanity, that's a good thing. Honestly, I'd sooner, I'd sooner watch you try to get random item service bloody among us than have you getting crazy over this game. I am really hating his defense-centric deck. And considering the uh, opponents are actually starting to not become fucking jokes, beating them ten times is actually going to be a... Uh, I, why, why did I attack that? I was supposed to attack over the labyrinth wall. As you were saying... Uh, now that the NPCs are starting to not become absolute fucking jokes. It's actually, uh... Damn, you've beaten him seven times already. Yes. That's, again, not the card that I was supposed to become. Okay, that's not fake trap then, I guess. Otherwise, I would have automatically triggered there. Later in the anime, is life, um, ah, yeah, in its life, did they actually start trying to follow the rules of the cards? In the anime? Yeah. More or less. I wonder how annoying that was. Uh... I can only imagine eventually... Quite a bit. Thank you. 
But yeah, like, even beginning as early as the second major story arc, Battle City, they started paying a lot more, um, at least lip service to the rules. Finally. I'm really surprised that wasn't another one of his 3,000 walls. <laughs> One more victory against Bakura, and then I definitely, fairly, and reasonably get all of the cards that I would get from him. You actually do that? No. But I shall uh, be uh, employing the services of a... Uh, Happy pastime oceanic predator. Or a happy pastime magical wish granting entity, depending on the generation. You're confused by my words, are you not? I am, yes. Okay, what would happy pastime be? Did I just get a fucking Exodia piece there? Yes, you did. The left of course arm. I fucking did. But you probably already had. Yes, I do. Anyways, happy pastime. What would that be? Don't know. What are things people do as pastimes? Put me on the spot here. Yeah. Um, read? I do, uh, that would be a an answer to this, yes, I guess, technically. But that is not the correct answer. Okay, uh, the co competitive happy pastime. Let's go to the second one. Let's go to the second part, and maybe you can work backwards from the first part. The uh, second part was either an oceanic predator or a uh, magical wish-granting ent entity. A genie? That, that is one of them, yes. Uh... Yes, oh. you've, you've gotten it now. Yes, I will be employing the uh, services of a game shark or game genie. Yeah, 
Just so you know. But if you're if you're doing this, I did. did I no. This is not applicable to other things. Adding this game was a mistake, and this is like the the final point of not just the fucking releasing this game. You know, we should just. Really wonder, wondering, Tiger, you, you see a happy ball of fluff sometimes. Yeah, but right now, not so much because this game is doing ass. things to my mentally mentality. It is this, ass. This game is ass. Yes. Thank you. It did. It did a number of things that were important to have happen with early Yu-Gi-Oh becoming popular, and it did. I respect if this game was your childhood and it was important to you, but. RNG be damned. This game has this, this game has aged like milk. Ew. By the way, I thought of an acronym. What? For if we say this game is ass. As assaulting the safety of your sanity. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Yeah, it's assaulting the safety of my sanity. Yeah. So if we ever say a game is ass, that's what we mean. Yeah, the, the, that way the game can't sue us for defamation. You know, yesterday I actually looked up the whole thing to do a Wu Kong. Yeah. People need to stop think, uh, trusting IGN as a freaking news source. Oh, I heard it was that they were trusting Kotaku. No, bloody, um, what happened was, there was this, uh, one of ITN's, um, you know, reviewers, whatever, media people, what is it they call it? Journalists? Game journalists, there we go, thank you. Yeah. Um, basically, um, <clears throat> a, I think it was an interview by someone from the game company had been done and it had been translated in a way that had made it look absolutely like they were the worst people in the world and they, she jumped on it she fucking jumped on it and just you know caused all this shit you know tried to rip them at, like their asses apart and all that then the game came out has sold like 10 million copies in a couple of days um a while ago a chinese gamer actually came out and explained everything that this fucking interview was actually supposed to say made her look like a complete twat you know the game's journalist and she um, went into she, hiding uh, she had already managed to accomplish that by being a games journalist i know but like she went into hiding because of this. Hi. Instead of instead of admitting that she was wrong and everything, she basically has been banning, like fucking blocking people on Twitter, and just like got into hiding. And the worst part was, fucking other sites were just crediting their source to like this is this company's terrible. They were crediting IGN instead of actually looking at the fucking you know the whole transcript thing and being like hang on that's not what that means yeah but you know holding journalists accountable for the, the literal lies they print is you know the, 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 the most they get to do is uh, they get to call them out on that and then the journalist goes whoopsie doodle I guess we'll just edit this now that everyone's read it You know, I know people didn't like him, but fucking hell, I wish Total Biscuit was still here. Uh, 
A lot of people did like him. A lot of people did like him. There were people who didn't like him. I won't go into like stuff that happened, but like when he was around, he like tried to make sure shit didn't go down the way it needed. It was going. Even if he was just like an innocent net personality at that time. But like he would fucking fight against stuff like that. And now game shows are like, oh, we can see what we want because people will believe us. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, it came out that I was wrong. Well, I'm not going to admit I was wrong. You're all the wrong people. I remember the days where you can go into a video game shop, buy a video game, and you didn't even... Nothing could have been said about it, and you'd just be like, oh, this is a cool game. Nowadays, it's like, this game has been announced. It's racist! Old man is definitely yelling at clouds. I am an old man, and I'm fucking yelling at something. <laughs> I think I got that out of my system. Open up. That's yeah, okay. I give him a clear of battlefield to attack, and he sets a card. He sets Umi. Does Umi even benefit him in any way? I guess that was an aqua monster he had there, technically. my entire army of stone D's. That wasn't a that was a dragon, not a It's okay. Shit happens. Gotta admit, crawling dragon number two looks a lot like a rock monster. Which one? Uh let's see if I draw it again. I mean, there is that one rock monster which I thought was like Pizza the Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Dissolve a rock. Yeah.
All right, he's actually managed to make something that's a threat. There, this thing. Doesn't this kind of look stonish? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. And I picked the wrong sign. All right, this actually has twenty three hundred defense. It kind of looked like Zilla. Also, in his infinite brainlet works, he sees I cannot kill any of his monsters. Better put everything sideways. <laughs> oh no, he's now killing my monsters. What do you mean they had terrible defense? Crap, I can't kill his monsters. Better put my monster sideways, even though now he can run over it. I'm sure Before this he would have had to crash, now he has to run over it. <laughs> I'm sure this plan will work out perfectly. Wait, what do you mean all my monsters are dead? What do you mean I was international champion in the anime, apparently? What do you mean these guys have visible guns? You are the dub. Mm -hmm. Now, I have run an entire hand of ass.
Bunga bunga. That's the only way to play this. Step one, unga. Step two, bunga. <laughs> Step three, hmm? Step four, profit. Yeah, let's play spot the people I beat uh, an inordinate amount of times. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's play spot the person I've dueled to the one time to get, like, the win. Does she even have a card that I can get? Yes, she does, and it's actually a card that I do want. So we're going to beat her the ten times. Oh, technically nine now. Yeah. Also, I believe I am now making a play that I do not think her deck is capable of beating. <laughs> Witch, Witch of the Black Forest in attack position. Holy shit, Yuki, help me! They're cooking me! No, this is this is this 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 isn't Teo, this is Tina. Oh who's she? Uh the ancient Egyptian version of Teo. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay then. Help me, Pharaoh! They're cooking me! Wah, wah, baby Pharaoh wants milk. I was really Give hoping she milk. would ram face first into my face down attack position monster, which is a thing you can definitely do in the actual game. <laughs> Give me milk or you're going to the Shadow Realm. The Shadow Realm, even though it was like a form of censorship is the best fucking thing. Did you ever go see the film in the cinema? Which one? Oh, the first one. No. I did purely just to get the cards. I didn't even play Yu-Gi-Oh! I just bought the cards. Fair enough. But the thing is, I didn't even watch Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time. I was just like, eh, look, screw it, why not? I'll go watch the film. I think I was bored that day. I like how, of the cards that were released for that, there's... they came in three qualities. One, uh, this is absolute garbage. Nothing can make this playable. Two, this can only be used in degenerate decks. And three, ban this shit now. Ban it right now. Ban it five minutes ago. What was the car that needed banning? Return from the different dimension. What did that do again? Uh, you could special summon as many of your banished monsters as possible. They were destroyed uh, so during that's... the end phase. So that's why he was able to summon all three Egyptian god cards again. Were they removed with Inferno Tempest? I... No... If I remember correctly, how, what happened was... Kaiba told him, like... Just bring out all your Egyptian god cards, and Yugi was like... Oh, okay... Brought them out, and then he played this, like, special card that, like, banished all three of them. That was probably Inferno Tempest. No, it was like this, um... It was like this... Glass pyramid or something? Oh, pyramid of light. That was yeah the, com the central card of something there and complete ass and all of the cards related to it are complete ass. 
they are like unplayably bad. They were not even play, they were not even, it's not like they were power crept into unplayably bad. They were unplayably bad at the point where that movie happened. Yeah, it was, it was the Pyramid of Light. You had the Blue Eye Shining Dragon, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Okay, Blue Eye Shining Dragon's playable, I guess. What upon, whatever that is. Well, and Pyramid of Light. Okay, because that I think it might be like what cards were released in which regions, because I could have sworn that Inferno Tempest and Return from the Different Dimension were in that pack too. Okay, we'll look up where the fuck Inferno Tempest came from then. Okay. And that, I'm not like, I'm not trying to be angry or anything. I'm just like, then where the fuck did it come from? Because that's what I'm remembering. Inferno Tempest. It like some sort of McDonald's promo. I'm going to lose my shit. I'm sorry that I'm being a grumpyabus. It's all right. Okay, Inferno Tempest. It was an exclusive pack. Uh, released in 2004. Yeah, you had Return from the Different Dimension, Inferno Tempest, Ophelia Knight, Pet and the Dark Clown, Rare Metal The Dark Dragon. Mist is fucking timing. It is impossible to resolve that card, by the way. Not literally impossible, but like, if your opponent so much as breathes too hard, that card misses its timing. And can no longer resolve. Sorry for interrupting. I, I have a personal vendetta against that card. No, it's fine. I'm just trying to find out where you got it from. Okay, I've beaten everyone at least ten times. I now feel zero guilt about... Fucking the game over. Exactly.
interesting. Hey, would you look at that? I somehow have 999,999 star chips. Oh, wow. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, uh, the exclusive pack is a special pack released at the time of the film Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie Pyramid of Light. Okay, so at least that explains why I'm not... So the four that I mentioned were the free ones you could get from seeing the movie, and this was a pack that came out at the same time. Okay, at least... At least so I have a reason crazy. why I thought that. Yeah, so you're not going crazy. Okay, let's turn down our speed a little so I'm not constantly overshooting everything. Oh, you can only redeem the card once. Fuck you too then, game. You're gonna charge me 800 star chips for this card and it's going to be... And I can only buy it once. Why? What were you trying to do? I was going to buy four copies of it. Or three copies uh, of it. Silly bum. But we have beaten everyone 10 times. So by my rules that I set for me when I was setting the rules for me, that I'm allowed to do this now. Back at your yo gi -Oh. Well, at least this game anyway. Because the best part, the best part of it all, is that I can grind for this for hours and have it be a heart container for small tub. I think that's the thing that annoys me most with this grandomizer. A lot of the items just shouldn't be there, I feel. And I know that's something that you can't stop, because it's just going to randomize all the items anyway. Yeah. But it's like, those are some items that I wish were excluded, like the odd rupee or the odd card. But that's how they get in there in the first place, because they're replaced within the world, so it adds to the yeah. whole... Yeah, because you, you get the chest where it's like... Here's a heart. Here's a rupee.
Okay, I just, I have now um, screwed up a couple of things, I think, because I've backed out and not saved things, and we have the 9,999 starships, we can still work with this. Actually, that works out just very slightly better for us at this exact moment in time. Oh? Because what I'm about to do is this, and... I'm gonna make a recommendation. Okay, I like how that only took one starship from me. <laughs> gonna make a recommendation. What? Save stay after every card redeem. Yeah. I only say that now because I know that's not something that you'd think... I wouldn't think about it at the time, but it's just because, like, hmm... Okay, now it's just not actually taking starships from me, which I'm okay with. I'm assuming you can't get every single card from this. No. Right? Well, most of them you literally can. I could input the code and get perfectly ultimate great moth for my deck right now. But I assume right now you're just putting in the cards and the people who you face 10 times. Yes, exactly. My goal is not to cheat the randomizer or invalidate this game. Otherwise, I would just be releasing the game in the first place. The goal is just to not have a very vital item be locked behind a fucking half a percent drop rate that you can only get by your opponent decking out. Oh, yeah, because that's how some cards can drop. It depends on what they do, doesn't it? Yeah. Or, like, what turn you beat them on. It is some massive levels of fuckery. You know what we say to that, kids? Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Yeah, what we say to that is, hey, look, cheating's justified. Mm-hmm. I'm not cheating, I'm just using the heart of the cards. <laughs> yes, 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 you are. I'm using... Hey, look, we got a hookshot for Water Temple. Ooh, nice! I like more. On a card that had a ten done. out of two two thousand forty eight drop chance. Thank you, fucking pardon. Ten out of two thousand forty eight. One out of one hundred twenty eight. Less than half a percent. I'm going to repeat what I said. I beg your fucking pardon. Yeah, the, you, you see. If you do not see why the, the, what I am doing here is now justified, you... Yeah. Oh, it is justified, my friend. So, um... There, there's, uh... You, you know the funny thing about Heart of the Cards and how um, stupid bullshit uh, dumb it is? Mm-hmm. Would you believe that there is a uh, character who uh, does stupid, uh, dumb uh, stuff even worse? His name Joey? No, no, no. Joey just has stupid luck. Stupid luck in cards that only work because he has stupid luck.
No, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, uh, there's a character, the main character performs this ability called Shining Draw, in which not only does he get exactly the card he needs, he... This is how that card comes into existence. He literally has the power to just make a card exist to fit his circumstance. Well, that's cheating. Yes. I mean, at least it's like explain that Yugi had the foresight to put this ridiculously situational card in his deck. Uh, this guy's literally taken a turn pulling, pulling things out of his ass. Pokemon Crystal, the game where it is actually the least useful. But that Silvered Lung of Dolphos, I don't know what that is, but... I can look it up. Now, you see, here's the real... Here... Okay, it may be the thing that lets you walk through poison. I will look it up for Yep. That is the thing that lets you walk in poison? All can preserved in sparkling silver with plenty of villagers, whatever that means. Filigree. Uh, filigrees, thank you. Cardinal Dolophus melted his bones into a pot, looking to yada 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 yada, protects the wearer from the poisonous miasma. Ah, cool. That's marginally useful. I death ran myself through a lot of the poison anyways. Did you know in Dark Duel Stories you could just enter your card's code and get the card? There was no currency you had to farm up a meg metric fuck ton of in order to purchase any card that... Yeah, it's funny like that. By a number on the card, I assume you mean like the actual card? Yeah. One of the things hmm. they tried doing early on, well, actually, I think they still do it. I just don't know if it even serves a purpose anymore. But um, they would, the cards have a printed number in the lower left hand corner, so you can redeem them for uh, use in like the video games. Ah, I see.
Okay, and there we go. We've got all of the cards that we can get up until this point now. And now we say fuck this game? Now we say fuck this game, at least for the time being. I'm actually going to just end stream, I think. No worries. I'm... Uh, I... Fuck this game. Stop treating I Hollow think... Stop treating Hollow Knight like it's Voldemort. This game deserves the Voldemort <laughs> treatment if any of them do. This is the game that shall not be named. This is the I... game that will break me. Here's the thing. As long as we keep it so that roll, you face it ten times. If you don't get the cards, you put them in, it's gonna be fine. Because at least you can go, right, I haven't got the card after these ten times. Now I do have the card. Okay, everyone, stay cute. Seen, uh, we've raided Vayne relatively recently. I should also turn off my music so it's not overlapping my music. Uh -huh. Good point. Okay, everyone, stay cute and remember that Taya loves you. Mm -hmm.